going on everybody welcome back to home field advantage sports it's seth as always um the old man was right the orioles got it together uh pitching looked fantastic last night um it's only the fourth game of the season and you know everything at this point's a knee-jerk reaction for any team i mean i was i was wrong the other day i said i thought the rangers were two and one well they were three and oh coming into this game and they said they swept the phillies at home to start the season very hot team to start the year and um Going into the game last night, I was like, they, the Orioles need to pitch well if they're going to win this game. And um, they did. They pitched amazing. They threw a one-hitter. It's just not the way that I would have expected it because, you know, Kyle Bradish got hurt, like, early on in the game. Um, that That's alarming and everything. And But Tyler Wells, like, came up to Brandon Hyde and was like, he, like, volunteered to come in and pitch last night when his scheduled start was today. So even on the MLB app, it still says like to be determined on who's going to pitch for the Orioles today. Um, my best guess is that they'll swing to Kyle Gibson because he had the full days. He had the full time off of rest in between starts because of the off day. But Kramer is still going to pitch the home opener. So they're going to have to figure out tomorrow's game on Wednesday it's a day game too so I, I think they have to call somebody up for that but I, I want to talk about Tyler Wells um he looked absolutely amazing last night five innings of shutout no hit ball I mean I think personally maybe the stats didn't show it last season but he was the best pitcher on the Orioles last year best starting pitcher that the Orioles had um I thought it was a shame that he got injured at the end of last season because he was pitching tremendously for the Orioles. Like I, I think I've said before in a previous video that he's like my favorite pitcher um on the Orioles. He's just always solid. He's and plus he's got that gamer mentality where he's on like he's very intense on the mound. I mean he's six foot eight, but his attitude, the way he carries himself, he's got a lot of fire. And I love that. Um I was really happy to see him come in and handle that last night. Uh, the guy on the Rangers, what's his name, Smith, got hit in the face. Uh, prayers up for him. I hope his face didn't get destroyed. I, I saw the replay of that on TikTok earlier, and the way he got hit, it looked like his face like extended out. Uh, that that was pretty gruesome. You hate to see that in a game. Um, hope he's okay. Um, I know Andrew Haney's pitching for the Rangers tonight. He's been... I mean, he's not a superstar pitcher, but, you know, he's solid. He's been in the league for a long time. Lefty. The Orioles have a lot of lefties on their team. So, that's I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how they fare against a lefty. They did well against Chris Sale. But the more they play against lefties throughout the season, I'm interested to see. Because, you know, they do have a lot of lefty bats in their lineup. And I want to see if guys like Cedric Mullins and Gunnar Henderson can hit lefties consistently. Um, Cedric's proven that he can in the past with his 30-30 season, but I feel like he needs to do it again to show that that wasn't just like a one-off. Um, I love Cedric Mullins, and he's had a great start for the Orioles so far. I hope he continues to stay hot. I've been saying since before the season started, playing in the World Baseball Classic will help Cedric Mullins, whether he gets a lot of playing time or not, because having Ken Griffey Jr. as your hitting coach, I mean, I'm sure he got to pick his brain a good bit. Um, playing with Mike Trout, Mookie Betts, all those guys on the team, Trey Turner, just guys that he can pick up small tips for from from like hitting perspective and like let alone the outfield. Um, I think it was all around good that he played for Team USA in the WBC. Um, I think it showed so far. He's he's been hitting the ball really well. Uh, Jorge Mateo absolutely cranked one off the facade in left field last night at Globe Life Park. What was it was like 433 feet or something. I think it read on the TV. He obliterated that pitch. Um, Gunnar Henderson went opposite field to left. That that was beautiful. Um, it's what you want to see out of the young star. So I feel like overall last night was an amazing game for the Orioles. Uh, the offense didn't look like it did in Boston, but that's okay. Like, the bats aren't going to be that hot all season. I'm just glad that they finally got a good pitching performance. They don't need to shut everybody out. I just want to see quality pitching. You know, that's that's what's most important to me. Just in general, like as a fan of any team, that should be what's most important to you is that your team is pitching well because a team that's pitching well is going to win. You know, I think the Orioles proved in that first series 
you can score eight runs and lose if you're pitching like not up to snuff, you know. So I, I feel like good pitching definitely trumps good hitting. Um, I'm really looking forward to see like what the Orioles do with their rotation because like, Bradish's X-rays came back negative. That's a good sign. Um, hopefully he doesn't miss too many stuff. Maybe he misses a start or something. Maybe he doesn't miss any. I don't know. You know, maybe he was just ringing and like when he threw that warm up pitch trying to get back into it, he just couldn't play in his foot, but maybe he'll be all right next time he comes out. Um, interested to see who pitches tonight. Like I said, I think it's going to be Kyle Gibson, but it's not confirmed. So I have no idea. Uh, tomorrow to anybody's guess. I mean, they could call someone up. They could go bullpen game. I don't know. Um, well, really, it really just depends on who has pitched in the minor leagues and all that stuff. So I feel like whoever has the freshest arm will pitch. So it could, you could you could see Austin Voth start that game. Um, you could see a call up. I don't know if you'll see a call up this early, but you could just because of like the extraneous circumstance or whatever. Um, I think Dean Kramer is still slated to pitch the home opener against the Yankees on Thursday afternoon. So. It'll be interesting to see. I know Jacob DeGrom pitches for the Rangers on Wednesday, the last game of the series. So I think it's really important that the Orioles get the win tonight, Tuesday night. Um, very, very important game. If they can win this, they'll win a road series. It'll be their eighth straight win against the Rangers if they can win tonight, um, dating back to last season. And it would give they would guarantee that they win the series with DeGrom looming for tomorrow. So, I mean, I don't think that... Just because DeGrom's pitching, the Orioles are going to lose. They can beat good pitchers. I mean, they've proven that before. But I feel like he he didn't have a very good first start on opening day against the Phillies, like, at all. I think his ERA coming into this game is like 12-something. That's only off one start. Maybe he's not ready or whatever. He's probably not going to pitch that bad a second time in a row. So I think it's pretty important that they win tonight so they at least pull into the home opener with a 500 record going 3-3 three and three, and maybe go for the sweep on Wednesday. But we'll see. Um, looking forward to the game tonight. Uh, Adley should be back behind the dish tonight, but who knows? I mean, he DH'd last night and Ben Boom caught last night. I kind of expected that the last game of the Red Sox series, but they didn't do that, which it seems like they're giving Adley as much time as he wants behind the plate, like within reason. Um, it seems like he's a full go, like they're not trying to arrest him too much. I like that, but I don't at the same time. Like you don't want him catching too much this early on in the season. Uh, I would space it out, but with McCann on the IL, I kind of understand. He should be back soon. He's. I saw that, you know, he's got the oblique strain or something. I mean, he pulled it. I don't, I don't know exactly the extent of the injury, but I saw that he was like catching and running bases and taking BP the other day. So he should be good to come off the IL whenever his time's up. Um, I think it was only a 10 day stint. It might have been a 15. I'm, I'm not entirely positive, but he should be good to go in about like a week, week and a half, something like that. He'll be, he'll be on, on the active roster sooner than later. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting Dylan Tate and Michael Gibbons back, like I said the other day, because. Tyler Wells should have never had to come in to pitch that game. I know, like, Bradish got hurt and everything. Everything was kind of crazy. But the and it was early in the game. I get it. They didn't want to burn their bullpen out. But they did bring out Colome, the new guy that they got from the Twins. Um, he's the one who beamed Smith in the face. So their bullpen, to me, has looked shaky. Like, Tyler Wells is a starter. So I feel like the bullpen still has a lot to prove. Uh, Batista looked good last night. He struck out two and then got the ground ball. Uh, his splitter is like one of my favorite pitches because when you're getting 101 up here and then you get the splitter low and away, that's like 89, 88, that's dropping this much with a backspin. I mean, that's almost unhittable, especially if you're not sitting on the splitter. And most people aren't when there's a guy that can throw like 102, 101 standing on the mound. He's just an intimidating presence. I love Batista. So. He looked like he was on last night. Hopefully he stays that way and has a dominant season in the closer role for the Orioles. Um, there's a lot to look forward to. It's still early in the season. But I'm looking forward to tonight and seeing how this rest of the series plays out against the Rangers. Thanks for watching today. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you love the Orioles, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching again. Peace out. Enjoy the game tonight. Go O's.